navigators, welcome or welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are gonna be going over a very easy to follow tutorial on how to make animated call to action buttons using Canva. If you do not have a Canva account or you do not have Canva Pro, I highly recommend getting that because you will need Canva Pro for some of the um, elements I'm gonna be showing you today. If you don't have it and you create this, you're gonna to have to pay per element. If you don't have it, you can use my affiliate link in the description box below and get 30 days absolutely free. And then just feel free to cancel at any time. Also, we're gonna be needing some sound effects. So this way it sounds like you're actually ringing a bell and you're actually clicking on the mouse. And for today's sound effects, we're using today's sponsor, which is Soundstripe. So Soundstripe is a royalty-free music company made specifically for YouTubers and streamers in mind. So you can actually create a sound stripe account absolutely free, but if you get one of their subscriptions, use the code navigating YouTube to get 15% off your monthly subscription. All right, so once you are in Canva, you're gonna wanna go to the search bar and type in YouTube video, and then you're just gonna select create a blank YouTube video. You can also go down, and you'll see there's some examples down here if you wanna go ahead and just go off of a template, but I'm just gonna show you how to quickly like make your own because honestly it's not that hard so um number one is i like to do it on a green screen this way i have more control when i use my editing software so i just use this green down here you can actually use the chroma green color um, which is going to be 00b140 so if you click on that that's the true green like chroma green color so it's just easier to edit out of your software um, but from here you're going to want to go to your elements so the first one we're going to go through is your like button so i use this one which it just says thumbs up so you can just go to elements search thumbs up you'll be able to find it and I know it has a blue button which is really Facebooky so you can change that to red so feel free or you could change it to like your brand colors if you wanted to do that um, just know if you are using anything that has any type of green in it you need to change your background color to the opposite color All right and then I'm gonna put this at a 0.7 and enter there we go so if you go to the time up here this way it only lasts for seven seconds versus it trying to go for five seconds um next i'm going to use a little arrow so it looks like we're clicking on it so i used this one right here and then of course it's going past the um, thumbs up so you're going to want to drag it to where it hits right into the middle and then i'm going to click down here on this button i'm going to copy and duplicate the page now what we're going to do is remove the cursor so you can click on the cursor and use the trash can and then i'm going to use this i, think I liked that one yes so we're going to use this one here make it a little bit bigger and again center and middle i'm also going to move this to the back and then I did a full circle and I made that red as well and then again I'm gonna push this to the back now from here you can resize this to where it fits into the middle if you want to change the um, like sleeve color make it a little bit darker so it doesn't look identical we're gonna do that make sure that's centered and then I'm also going to copy this, go back to the first page because I changed the sizing of it, paste it to the front, and then there we go. So now they should both be seven seconds. So if you click on the first one, this should be seven seconds. Okay, so next we're gonna do a comment button. So I'm gonna go back to elements um, you can just search button um, and then I like this 3D one so this one is the blue rectangle button illustration if you click on it you'll see magic recommendations come up so I'm gonna use the red one so I'm going to make this just slightly bigger um, we can always resize it in your editing software and then I'm going to go to text I'm gonna just choose any text and change it to big shoulder display I'm gonna make sure it is bold and then I'm gonna make this centered Make sure I'm on all caps. I'm gonna change the text to white. Go to effects and do lift. And I'm gonna change it to 75. This way it looks like it's pulling away and it doesn't look so flat. Then I'm going to click on the text, go to animate and select typewriter so it looks like it's typing out. And then I want that set at eight seconds up here. So the timing should be eight seconds. Then I'm gonna duplicate this page. I'm going to click on the text and make sure I remove the animation. So this way it doesn't look like it's typing again. And then I'm gonna choose, uh, I like to call them mouse arrows. So I'm gonna choose the cursor here. And that one is the error cursor pixel. Again, make it to where it's going to click right in the middle. Copy this page one last time to duplicate page. 
On the last page, you're gonna remove the arrow and then I'm going to change the text color to black and then I'm going to change this to gray. So I'm gonna go, the lighter red is going to now be this gray color down here. The darker red is going to be a darker gray. I'm also going to remove the lift, so I'm gonna put none. This way it just looks like when you clicked on it, it changed color, so it actually is like somebody commented on your video. And then that can be set to like five seconds. All right, so we are gonna go to the bell notification. So I'm going to position the bell. And then this bell is the black animated fill icon bell icon. So that's what you would search for under animations to get this exact one. I'm also going to use just the circle, which you can find if you go to elements, um, go to shapes, lines and shapes. You'll just, it's a regular circle. Um, I'm just gonna make it red again and push this to the back. Make sure it's centered. Some. And then we're gonna use a cursor. So if you go to elements, again, you can just choose any mouse arrow, go to graphics. All right, I'm gonna do the hand cursor click that's red. If you wanna come from the side, you can do it that way too. I just wanna make sure the um, red is showing up on the black when it looks like it's clicking. And then you can copy, duplicate this page. Again, it's eight seconds, duplicate page, remove the cursor, and then I'm gonna change the background to now a gray color. So it looks like when it's clicking it, it changes right to gray. All right, and then the last one's gonna be a share button. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. I'm gonna delete these, start from scratch. So go to your elements. Again, we're gonna go back to that button. We're gonna to go to text. Again, we're gonna use the big shoulder display, make sure it is bold, and we're gonna put share. Uh, change the text to white, go to effects, and go to lift at 77. And then from here, you're going to do just the regular cursor. And so I like, this one that is the error cursor click it kind of looks like it's the plane like that's the instagram share kind of button so i kind of like that there and then again we're going to duplicate this page change the button to a gray color so it looks like you've actually clicked it change the text to a black and then erase the cursor again they should both be set to 0.8 uh, second all right, so once you're in Soundstripe, at the top, you're going to see SFX. So these are your sound effects. And then you can just search for what you want. So we know we need a mouse click. I also need a bell. And then I'm gonna see if I can find the like sound where, you know, that old like email send sound. I want to find that one. So the first one should be easy. All you need to do is mouse click. And then you'll see it has mouse click single, low, and then you can hear the different ones. So personal preference, um, I'm just gonna go with this first one. And then I'm going to hit download and then download um, sound effect. Uh, next, we're gonna go for a bell sound. So let's go search bell. And I love that you can just search for them because then you don't have to spend hours trying to look through all these sound effects. Okay, so bell 02 or bell 04 are probably the closest to like that bell sound. So let's go with bell 02, again, download sound effect. And you only need to download it once, even if you're using it on multiple things, because you're just gonna put this into your editing software. So the last one's probably gonna be the hardest for me to find, which is that email sound. Okay, so they don't have it exactly, but I typed in whoosh, and then this came up, so hi short zero one. But now that we have our sound effects and we have our call to action made, I'm gonna use Filmora to show you how to add up everything and this way you can save it and have it for your lower thirds or place it anywhere if you wanna do like your intro or something for your next YouTube video. Okay, so once you're in Filmora, you're gonna wanna import your media files here. So go ahead and click there and then it should just be all my recent downloads. So I'm just gonna highlight all of these and click enter. From there, I'm just going to drop um, whichever one I want to play with onto the timeline. So we'll drop it down here. I'm going to match it to media. So 1920 by 1080 is just how I uh, render things out. And then, so the things we need to do is one, remove the green, right? So this way we can have this on our videos. And two, we need to add the mouse sound. So I'm gonna add the mouse sound first and we want it to be, let me zoom into the timeline so we can look at it. We're gonna drag this right where it goes to click. So right there. And then I'm gonna use this mouse single right here. I'm going to cut this part because I only need one of the mouse clicks. These are just the same thing, right? And so now it looks like this. Perfect. All right, and then I'm going to remove the green screen. So Nomura makes it super easy. You can go ahead and click on this. You'll see this comes up. 
and it removed it. And then I wanna test it to make sure that um, it's actually going to show on um, videos properly. So I'm gonna press okay, and I'm just going to add a sample video. Let's use one of Soundstripe's sample videos. So I'm just gonna do this one here. Let's go ahead and download this. So I just downloaded it as a preview just so I can see it. And then again, we wanna make sure that whichever um, thing we want shown on top is on the top of the timeline. And then if you don't want it centered, you can just click on um, the element so you can see I can move it. I can resize it if I want to. I can just kind of move it down here. And you'll notice there's a little bit of a film so you can see the um, outline. So all you need to do is double click here and then change the offset and the tolerance. So if you change that and the tolerance, then you can see it gets rid of it and now it's pretty seamless. All right, and if you're like, um, Tiffany, what happened to that subscribe button? Don't worry, I actually have a full video showing you how to make some custom animated subscribe buttons, which you can watch right here. Now get out there, make some content, and let's grow together.